welcome to this one video in this one we are going to talk about the money strategies for new entrepreneurs and something i have been learning for last 3 years is what we are going to share and in something that i have learned this morning i am going to share so we are going to cover two coolest money management systems for a dollar owner something that one that i have learned from my mentor and second is that i have developed on my own based on my own requirements and necessities so there are the two versions and currently i am undergoing a lot of money management systems talk to a lot of people like how do you manage money was like because see i was never into corporate life i did not make money out of business i i did not make money out of the business so i just made money through the business not outside the business it's like i not i had job back in the day i did not work much in the jobs and stuff like that. so i don't know i have not much experience in that because so i don't know much about money management so what i decided okay let me follow my mentor's model then i can kind of create my model then now i want to learn the people who are already working as in corporate people who have already been into business who are already having some certain developed principles for money how, how do how do you manage money that's the question right so is a question for you answers before watching this video let's like share how what is what has been your money management system so that i get to a good to learn what, how did you manage money by this time like all all this was like i want to learn multiple perspective i am in that learning phase of money management so that being said that means you're welcoming this one with thank you so much for joining in i hope this going this one video is going to make so much sense to you when it comes to learning about money how can you segment things and how can you start utilizing money in the proper way now this comes after an experience of good more than a years experience when i start money making money making money making money making money and pathetic manage money management system what happens is though you have a system but when you don't follow the system what happens is you make money you make money you make money then you spend money you spend money you spend money you spend money and you go crash so bad like the faster you go you have double impact when you coming back you have gravitation force plus the momentum of it so you crash pretty pretty bad and that was what happened with me in couple of last weeks I was like a great okay what do i have to do is i have to start bring out the system that my mentor gave me one and second i have to customize it according to what i do and what i want to do on how i want to keep it so based on that experience is good and bad both with the multiple systems that i have got in place i have kind of decided to document this video for you so that you can have a perspective awareness consciousness of how you make money is important but then the second phase of making money is like how do you manage it because that's going to determine how much you're going to invest in the later on stages in comes of so many cool things now two coolest money management systems point number one this is something this is my mentor's formula right abbreviations t w c g o so tax wealth now tax is tax is whatever tax you are collecting from the people of your members like when you making that transaction the whole tax money goes in that account the all the cfes goes into that account who's handling like auditor and stuff like that so that money goes into the tax account point number one second one is the wealth account now wealth account is wealth account is more on the lines of savings you're not saving money you're generating you're kind of keep with every revenue that you generate is going to be revenue for you right you're not going to get salaries from your own business you're going to be get generating revenue so your money has to be segmented in so many different places so second account so first account was tax we a lot 30% to that one okay the second account we have is the wealth account where you what whatever revenue generate 10% of the revenue goes to the wealth account in other terms that's a savings account where you can keep with every income that you make that the 10% keeps on going like you make 50 rupees you make 500 rupees you make 5000 rupees you make 5 crore whatever that is put that in that when you make that 10% of and this is one of the one of the very first advices when i got when i started on my career in the job world with this guy this this person that i know he came like first all, one rule that you have to follow is no matter what money you make save 10% of your income because that money is going to come in handy when you when you want to invest in something when you're not happy when you lose job when you when you do cool things and that was kind of came to when i lost my job that money came into place so saving 10 percent the c is more on the lines of charity and the cause that you support it we cannot just keep on making money we need to be contributing back to the people who are underprivileged who who have no medical fees who have no medical education we need to go back and give to them so c stands for charity and causes the g stands for general expenses now c is 10 percent general expenses is 20% now that is going to be a tricky one so you this is going to be your income this is going to be a salary for your business so for example if you make like a lakh rupees the 20% that's 20000 is going to be your income that's all so if you want more income to be made you need to increase this one 
you cannot be like for example if you're making like 10000 rupees a month in this business you are just going to, you are just going to get 2% of it right? to, just 2000 of it 20% just 2000 of it and that's going to be like can you sustain no you have to make more money for this one right so the general expenses is 20% like that's all you can that's all you get to enjoy for the month electricity rent water chocolates car petrol education everything that's related to you the general expenses the groceries the provisions everything that's that's the general account the o stands for business operations right operations so the rest of it the remaining 30% goes here now the coolest thing now what what all goes into operations is your your business shoes that you invest in online the zoo and the click and stuff like that those things goes over here the advertisement cost goes over here the systems the advertisement cost over goes over here and anything and everything that you invest when it comes to when the equipment that you buy goes from that account so operations so tax wealth tax 30% wealth 10% charity 10% general expenses 20% operations 30% so this is one thing that has been proven that has been already been working for my mentors and that community pretty successful pretty successful nahi matlab ki completely successful that's that also that's that's one of that is also been learned by one more mentor of my mentor so it's like it's like proven system now for me what i did i have tweaked in lot of ways and instead of having 1 2 3 4 5 i have got like six six accounts that this morning i kind of get like further you need to have six accounts because that's how you are going to because that's the need of you and that's how it's going to be segmented for you okay so the second coolest way that i kind of discovered in the morning it's it's still yet to be tested and trial uh, go, go, gone into it's still yet to go into test and trial mirror mirror net test and trial version but this is going to be successful for me this is this is something that i know that today this is this is this is decided on third of june that this is the model that i am going to follow for however time that i have got cool so now we have got multiple segments over here different names the similar names but in different format we have t over here okay now t is not tax for me t is for travel so that's like the number one thing that i want to do it's like i just want to make money so that i can travel i can take my loved ones traveling and i can just travel around the world see the cultures and people and, and so many things around the world so t is for travel when i make like a lakh rupees for example that's the xyz amount of money the 10% goes for travel what about the revenues 10% i make 5000 rupees 500 goes there i make 500 rupees 50 rupees goes there i make 50 rupees 5 rupees goes there example 10% cool first one is t remember this one t o p top so the first three will cover t o p so t stands for travel the moment the income is made money goes there 10% the second one is operations again business cool operations stays the same 30% because you need like actually you need more money more percentage of your income going back to the business so that you can make more amount of money so that that goes back to the business and you can keep on growing scaling diversifying with what you're doing cool 30% goes in your business again business tools online tools equipment and advertisements and stuff like that everything and anything and everything related to business goes there got it the p you now stands for since you segmented that the p stands for personal expenses cool i have divided p and g over here personal expenses and we have general expenses so p is 15% so i want to take money this is my money hmm? for the fazal's personal income that's going to be 15% of it whatever the amount i make for example i'm making like whatever amount say 10000 rupees 1500 goes for me 10000 1500 goes for me 15% goes for me like for me. i have got no own expenses right so i have to i have to i i want to segment it from the general expenses the next g now we had 30% back there in the first method the second method we are going to have 25% for general expenses education health medical transportation rent electricity water groceries snacks movies popcorn chocolate anything general expenses goes there 25% the next one comes back to again wealth and the next one goes back to again charity so wealth goes 10% the same 10% and then 10% goes in charity so these are the two coolest ways that one is already tested and tried by so many people out there already successful second one is kind of tweaked it to my own thing now one account missing over here is the tax account tax for me is into operations tax and the cf fees and the auditing fees i don't want to have a separate account for it i don't want to allot 30% to it like i just don't want to do that i want to keep that as a part of operations 
So it's the 30% that we were allotting in my maintenance method as it don't want that. I want to keep that as an operational expense. So I, I have got space 30% free seat. And, and the way I do things, the way I transact with people is like, okay, if, if my product is for 5,000 rupees, it's not including GST or including any of the taxes. It's excluding it. So you have to, when, whenever we are doing any transaction, 55,000 rupees, for example, XYZ amount plus GST plus convenience fee. So that will come 18 plus 2 percent. So it is excluding them out. So anyway, I'm collecting the, the GST anyway separately. So that goes into operations and that goes like that comes and that goes to the government anyway. Right. So I don't want, I just don't want, I don't felt that is important for me over there. And the second thing that I've added here, which was not there in the back, in the previous, met, previous method was personal expenses. Like I want to have a separate account for myself. Like uh, I get, that's my money. I like, I want to buy socks, great. I want to buy shoes, great. So whatever that is. So there are like two methods. First method, T, tax, wealth, charity, general expenses, operations. The next method we have, travel, wealth, charity, general expenses, operations. No, no, no. We have, we have travel, operations, personal, general, wealth and charity. So you've got like six seconds of video. That brings us to the conclusion of this, this video. If you feel you want to go ahead with the first method, great. If you want to feel like you want to go with the second method, great. If you feel, if I feel we, I have a better version of it over a period of time, we are going to do another video where we, where we are going to talk about the same thing but in a different method altogether. So if you want to search for that one, still I haven't done it anything, but then just search for money management, you'll be able to find the other video that I do. I haven't still done it yet. I'm going to test this out for like a good a year or two. So got in alterations stuff like that. You can watch, you can cop, you can search for money management in this channel, you'll be able to find that. Thank you so much for making this video a part of your day. May peace and wisdom be upon you and your love. I am going to see you in another video that I'm going to record. The six coolest pillars of your online business. That's the next thing that I'm going to record. Thank you so much. See you there.